Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Home Minister Amit Shah and BJP Chief JP Nadda attended the party's national executive meeting the first since the pandemic broke this morning. Prime Minister is expected to deliver a key address at the meeting which is being attended by 124 national executive members. Several chief ministers and members of different states have joined virtually. The discussion is expected to be on the election strategy in five states that will vote next year. The bipolar results in three Lok Sabha and 29 assembly seats across 13 states and union territories may weigh on the minds of the party leadership. Maharashtra Minister Nawab Malik shared a telephonic conversation that allegedly took place between Sam D'Souza and an NCB official. Sam D'Souza, whose name emerged in the connection with the Mumbai cruise drugs bust case that led to the arrest of Bollywood superstar Shah Rukh Khan's son Aryan Khan. In the audio, Sam D'Souza, who introduced himself as Sanvil, called VV Singh an NCB official. Sanvil, who reportedly lived in Bandra, could be heard saying that he was calling in response to a notice served to him by the agency at his house. Maharashtra on Saturday reported 661 new COVID-19 cases, which was the lowest in the last 558 days when 522 fresh cases were registered on April 27, 2020. The current dip in the daily cases was partly due to the lowest number of tests conducted owing to the festive season. In the last 24 hours, the state tested 70,179 samples and on Friday, it conducted 57,290 tests. In comparison, the 522 cases registered on April 27 last year resulted from 5,217 tests at a high positivity rate of 10.01%, over 9% more than 0.94% registered on Friday. In what may come as a potential worry for the citizens of the national capital, water supply will remain affected on Sunday, November 7th across several parts of the Delhi due to an increase in ammonia pollution in the Yamuna River impacting operations of treatment plants. In a press notification posted on the official Twitter handle on Sunday evening, the Delhi Jal Board informed media agencies of the possible supply disruption and said that it has already taken steps to rationalization of the water throughout the national capital to meet the shortage. The United States condemned the drone attack on Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al qadimi which it characterized as an apparent act of terrorism. The State Department spokesperson Ned Price said, We are relieved to learn that the Prime Minister was unharmed. This apparent act of terrorism, which we strongly condemned, was directed at the heart of the Iraqi state. Kadimi called for calm after the attack on his residence in Baghdad's Green Zone, saying that he was unhurt. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.